Hey folks, um, we're recording. The lighting is here is crazy. I got a projector. We got lots of stuff going on here. I spent a lot of time talking or getting to know Tom Wingfield, who is uh, a character in the play The Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams. And before I erase all this stuff, I imagine that other people will be playing this role. And I wanted to give you what I have discovered, found, realized what I know, what I think I know about this character. May this help you or may you go, that guy totally doesn't get it. Do not do this. Okay, so um, Tom is working at a job that he does not like. Um, he is bored, he is frustrated, he is agitated. He is taking orders from other people on how to live his life and he's not self-directed. He doesn't like it, he doesn't want it, he's tired of it. He is trapped. We, you got this image of him in a coffin and he wants to get out of the coffin, but he can't get out. And in order to get out, he's gonna have to bust some nails and, you know, hurt some people, make a fuss. You know, there's gonna be some repercussions or some damages from getting out of the coffin, right? So, Tom believes, I'm just gonna look over my shoulder because I wrote all this good stuff down. Tom believes that, like, his life is more than what he is living. And he knows that deep inside, deep down. He knows it's, it's, it's more. He's agitated, he's frustrated, he feels stifled by the conventions that are put on him. He is not living his life as an adventure. It is not that. Um, he wants to break free, he wants to live his own life. He wants to choose to live the life that he wants. He wants to make the choice. He wants to, <coughs> excuse me, he wants to go somewhere. He wants to do something. He wants a change to happen. I want to do something that's different than the mundane, everyday stuff that I always do. I do not want to go back to that job. I would rather someone pick up a crowbar and bash out my brains than go back to that piece of crap, life suck, dead end nothing. It is breaking my spirit. It is bad for me to go there. He wants to break free. He wants his life. He wants to choose it. He wants to experience. He wants to live. Um, he does not want to let life pass him by. Incubus has this line that says, don't let, let life pass you by. That's Tom. Don't let it pass you by. Go out and grab it and take it and get it. Um, he wants change. He wants adventure. He wants to do something. He wants to become somebody. Um, he cannot stand by and live the same life over and over and over again. I cannot do that anymore. I will not do that. I choose not to do that anymore. I am waking up. I'm so tired of this. Wake up. Do you not see it? Do you call the life that you're living? Like, I'm sorry, are you living your dream life? Are you the exemplar? Are you the model? Are you fully alive? Am I supposed to be enamored or drawn to the glamour and the awesomeness that is your life? I don't see it. That's Tom speaking. Everyone's life is such a letdown for him. It's such a letdown. Every day I turn into who I don't want to be. And I don't want to be here doing this. I'm unhappy, I cannot fake it anymore, I cannot put up a false front, I can't go to the office and put on a smiley face and fake laugh for another damn day. I'm not alive here, hello? Life is more than this. So anyway, that's I spewed a ton of stuff at you. I think that captures some of what I think is some of Tom's anger, rage, frustration. 
And I find that as I'm working up to do this piece or to do this monologue, I start explaining my background as Tom. I speak as Tom. Here's where I'm coming from. Here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm into. Um, I'm so tired of going to the movies and sitting and watching people live the lives and have the experiences that I want to have. Why can't I choose it for myself? I want it. Why can't I go? Anyway, that's enough of that. I hope that's helpful for you. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs> One last thing I forgot to say. You know, life is a convention. It's a game. And they want me to fit in to their rat race. They want me to play nice to be simple and stupid and to say yes and to do whatever I'm supposed to do and ooh, heaven forbid I, I uh, you know, step out of line and make a mistake and, and not do what I'm told. Oh crap, I'm so scared. Shoot, I better get back in line and do my job really, really well or else. Bull crap, right? They are manipulating us to do their bidding to help them live their dreams. Live your own dream. Go after what I want, not what you tell me I'm supposed to want. I'm just, in my current predicament, I am surviving. I'm not living the life that I want to live. Is it, is it that hard? You have nothing on me. You have only on me what I'm willing to give you. The power that I give up. The dreams I give up for this. I have killed my dreams to do what you want. It's my turn right now. I'm not going to wait. I am not a patient person. I'm tired of damn waiting. Don't you see? Don't. Do you feel what I feel? Do you wake up in the morning excited and drawn to and can't wait to go to this mundane, dead-end job? How do you do it? Because I can't do it. What's the secret? Am I supposed to lie to myself? Here's a couple more thoughts on Tom Wingfield. Um, in this monologue, he says, he's sitting out on the porch and he's talking to... Um, an acquaintance of his. He doesn't really have a lot of friends. He's kind of a loner. Um, they call him the poet. He kind of is, a, is off in his own world. Um, he has this acquaintance, this friend from high school. His name's Jim. And Jim says that he better wake up. Tom better wake up or else he's going to be out of a job. <laughs> you know, if someone tells me that I better wake up or I'm going to be out of a job that I despise or that I hate. I feel kind of indignant. Um, I don't give a crap about this job. I don't give a crap about... I can't toe the line for this company anymore because I don't care. I don't care at all. And I'm tired of faking it. And I'm waking up. I am realizing what's important, the opportunities that life has, where I want to go, who I am, what I want to get out of life. I am aware of what's going on fully. When you say I better wake up, you mean I better get in line and do what I'm told. I don't want to. F it. I don't want to. And I won't anymore. And then Jim goes, um, you know, you're, you're not showing any, any signs of waking up. And I go, well, the signs are on the inside. It's, it's what I feel and my conviction and what I know here. And this is what matters. It's not what it looks like out there on the outside. I don't care about that. Appearances? Who cares? I feel it here. And I know it here. And I'm going to make a change. 
I'm gonna leave this place, the gig is up, and I'm done. I'm out of here. I can't live this lie, this lifeless, life suck existence anymore. I can't do it. And, I'm and I've wasted too much of my time doing this. And I'm gonna, ch and, I, and I bought a ticket to escape from this place. And I don't know what the heck's gonna happen, but I, but I don't know where I'm going or what it's gonna be or if it's right, but I know that the answer is not staying here. I know that stone cold. I know that for sure. I know it 100%. I know that for sure. And I'm so tired of like, of going to watch other people, these glamorous Hollywood movie stars, no talent, all looks, pompous, blah, 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 look at me now, all the swagger, have these cool experiences, do this cool stuff that I, that I want to do. I mean, they're the ones that are having the cool experiences, that are, that are pushing it, that are living it. And we're sitting here watching them live it. We sit in our fat butts and watch these people rather than go and have the experiences for ourselves. We work all day in jobs we hate, come home exhausted, sit in their butts, eat crappy food, get overweight, get lazy, watch them be like, wow, wow, that would be so cool. And then go back to our more boring, mundane lives. It's embarrassing and it's sad. I don't wanna wait anymore. I'm tired of waiting. I just want to make something happen. I, I don't even know what, but I want something to happen. I want to go somewhere and have some experience to shake this up. And when I get up in the morning and I go and I put on my work shoes, and I put my coat and I step out the door. Inside, I feel pain because I I have a sense of life just 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 kind of going by, flittering by, like time just moving, 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 moving. It's like I'm on this escalator or this, you know, this conveyor belt. Time's just flying by here. The days are just rolling, the weeks are rolling, and months are rolling, and then years are coming, right? It's going faster and faster and faster. And I'm not living or pursuing the adventures and the dreams that I had as a child, that I had as a youngster, that I had as a young man. And something Deep down here feels bothered, agitated. It feels sad and hurt by that reality. And I feel it most mornings. I feel it stone cold. I know it like I know the sun's going to come up tomorrow. Anyway, maybe there's something of time in there that could benefit you. Um, I wish you the best.